Okay, guys. So these are the new archival distress things. Thought I'd show you those before I uh, fiddle about because now that I have two drawers full, I want to rearrange them so that they are all together in colour families because I'm like that. Anyone else like to organise their craft stuff by uh, colour? You know, my crayons have to go sort of through the colour spectrum, red to purple kind of thing. <laughs> so, this was the thing that I was waiting for to show you. Um, the last thing that I bought this year, I'm not buying anything else. Technically, the inks were the last thing, but yeah. So, yeah, this is basically a sticker book, but you have to cut the stickers out yourself. And I bought this from a Chinese site. Um, it was a bit pricey, but for the amount of images that you get, it's quite good, I think. And it's kind of organised by colour, which I like. You've got pink first, and then these are all your reds. And you get such a random selection of things. You've got like a cartoon girl, and then you've got Peter's Heart boxes. <laughs> Some of this are probably not used as you know as it is I probably just use it as the background or things like that. You never know. <clears throat> never know. Then you've got your orange. Just, just a tad. You can see the whole page there you go. Um orange pages and it's sort of yellowy yellowy orange got a few quotes in there as well which is nice bright yellows and then this image. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. If you don't know what that's from, oh my goodness. I better do a page in my Halloween journal with that included. I was so excited when I saw that. It's only tiny as well. I wish it was bigger but <laughs> it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we've got sort of neutral colours. Green. I'm sure I've seen this image used on Tiger product. I'm not sure. And of course the Instax camera. Now, I thought this was strange, I don't know if you can see this one. There's a quote here, but it goes over this picture. Which, I don't know, I don't get that. That means I'm going to have to use, I'm going to cut that around there, which means I'll have a bit of green behind the words there, but not for anywhere else. Or I'm going to have to use that image as well. I just thought that was weird. Why would they do that? Very, very strange. The book keeps sliding down now. I'll try and hold it still. <laughs> Green and turquoise colour as well. It's Alice. Didn't notice that before. <laughs> See, I think this is one of those, every time you flip through it, you'll see a different image and you're like, oh, I'll use that, that's cool. I love these sort of, um, you know, anime kind of, you know, cartoon style 
Care Bear. I grew up with the Care Bear. Mm -hmm. Purple is my favourite colour. And then we have Kitty. Oh, I love kitties. It's so bluey. One of my favourite paintings. Or part of it. Cool. Pastel blue. And lilac colour. It's a nice picture. Purples. Black and white. And one more. There you go. That's that. So, this is going to be great for using in my little journal. I got it. So quite often I will do, I'll either do just a really random page or I'll do something that's kind of one colour or similar to colour tones. I'm going to do a red one here so I'm going to look through the red images and see if this page isn't finished yet. Nearly finished I think. But yeah, and then I'll just be able to cut out an image and stick it in. So they are stickers, they're just not pre-cut, which is quite nice. Because sometimes when they do the pre-cuts, they either cut them out a little bit wonky or you have a big border around it. And then you still have to end up cutting it anyway. So yes. Uh, what kind of image might I use? I don't need another quote. This is jumping out at me, so that's fine. So the reason I bought this book, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, so I have a bit of a cold so my nose keeps feeling like I'm going to sneeze. Tickling, it's irritating. Um, the reason I bought this uh, um, book was I watched a YouTuber. I, I, f I follow a YouTube, not a YouTube. Sorry, it's cold. Um, Instagrammer, and she does a little journal, and she uses this quite a lot. So I just like give it a go because, like I say, there's such a wide variety of images in here. I can use it for. Not just this book, I could probably take a couple of images to go in my travel journal, maybe pre-cut them, pop them in my pencil case ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, I will link the, I'll put that Instagram artist in the description along with hopefully a link. 
to this book. If I don't put a link to this book, then just go and have a look at the Instagram because she has a, a link. She also has a, a code so you can get a bit of money off as well. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I'll see you again soon.